Let's get these notes and try not to fall off. Oh man, <laughs> well at least we can get back in. Right as I say that though, I just go ahead and fall off. Whatever. Let's get this last note. Okay, that seemed to go okay. And a little shock pad, I don't know what's up here, but must be something. Oh, a jiggy. Oh, be careful now. Oh, we have quite a quite a view from up here too. We can look for other stuff. I see Mumbo's hut is uh, over there. So, I don't think we want to go there quite yet. We will have to do something with this giant house in the middle, if you're wondering. Mad Monster Mansion, we haven't even gone in the mansion yet. But yeah, we have stuff to do there. I'm not sure if I'll do that next or not. I was going to go inside the church next, though, and I think that's here. So the switch is over... here... somewhere? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Ooh, and there are some honeycomb over there. Yeah, that might be nice. See, this was when we were, uh... We took care of the, uh... Those monsters of... Oh, those tombstone monsters, that's what they were. Okay, just a little refill on life. Man, I'm, I'm always just looking for life. I can never seem to find enough. Wow, why did the music change to such an intense... I don't know. <laughs> Man, I really don't get anything. See, it's like, dun, dun, da. But that's like, you can't say that they copied each other because dun, dun, da. I don't know exactly what interval that is. I don't have a perfect ear, but... Let's see. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. It must be like, like some one and then like a six or something. Da, da, da. I don't know, probably like a... I don't know, but it's such a simple interval that you can't say that they copied each other because it's just, you know... How can you ever be sure, anyway? Like, what if two songs sound exactly the same? You don't know if they copied each other, it's just... Maybe two people just thought of the same thing. Oh, nice. Well, oh, jeez. I'm just gonna wait here. Those lovely thorns, how they've grown. Music to my ears as you gro moan, groan, whatever. I thought she was gonna say groan, but... Okay, so there's the church. Closing. And I don't remember... <laughs> I lost my sense of direction because I was talking about music. Alright, let's try this again. It's over where the tombstones are, so... I should be able to find that, right? Don't hit the fence. Ugh. Okay. I still think it's over here, isn't it? Maybe not. Dude! Ugh. Am I gonna get lost again? I need to figure this out. I don't know, I'm probably gonna cut out all this failure. Okay, let's see. Oh, see, it's right there, so if I just keep running... Okay. Alright, so just don't turn right, just keep going, and I should reach it, no problem. As long as I can find the switch again. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. I think I know where to go now. Hit the switch. Music changes for some odd reason to a bell thing. Oh, nice jump. See, that's the way to do it. You don't run into the fence, you just nice little hop over the thorny bushes. And there we go. Wow, we even get a little, a little uh, victory jingle. Okay, so speaking of music, actually, there's some musical things that we need to do in here, so that's kind of handy. Uh, let's see. There are notes on the pedals. All right. Man, if this was a real organ, there should be a lot more pedals than that. Oh man, now I'm just being like, oh, <laughs> whatever. Okay, let's head up here. I know there's some stuff that we gotta do up here. And I actually remember it. Because it was kind of... I don't know. Okay, Mozart plays his organ with ease. But can you follow him on the keys? Okay, so here's what happens, I think. Mozart over here. Mozart hand. Ha ha ha. He plays little keys and then you ground pound the keys that he plays. So that was a, that was a G... D. This is really easy because you don't even have to memorize what uh what he's playing. You just have to see which key he pushes blue and then go ground pound it. And I mean, this would even be easy for me because I like play piano, sort of. So I know like that's F, for instance. So it'd be easy for me to remember, but you know, I guess the game just doesn't play to my skills. Copy this tune and amazed I'll be. Did he just play something, or was that the music? I, you know, I can never tell. 
That's an odd interval. Yeah, see, it messed me up, because in the music, there's sounds that are the same as the organ sounds. So I can't really tell. Whatever. <laughs> it's no big deal. That's gonna bother me every time I hear it now. That dun dun da. Because I want to know what interval it is. And by interval, for those of you who don't know music so good, um, interval is just like... Uh, it's just like the distance between notes. So like, an interval between you know, one note, and it's octave, is like an octave interval. I don't actually know the proper terms for all this stuff, but, you know, I think about, about it a certain way, and that seems to work for my purposes, so whatever, I don't really care what the proper meaning is. Though that's not true, I mean, I do kind of care, because if I'm ever going to, you know, actually discuss this with someone, I can't just use my own convention, you know what I mean? But when I'm sitting here just ranting to my television about... <laughs> similarities between Banjo kazooie music and some random symphony written by George Bizet. It's no big deal. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was Bizet. Bizet wrote, uh, like, Carmen and stuff, so if you've never heard of Bizet, you might have heard of Carmen, which is, like, all kinds of stuff that you'd probably recognize. I didn't even, like, I don't really, it's hard for me to exactly, like, I knew that the songs from Carmen before I knew that they were from Carmen, because it's like, there's that one song, it's like an opera, it's like da 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 Yeah, that's from Carmen. It was written by Bizet. So yeah, whatever. What am I talking about? This is so boring. Alright, well let's hit the grunty switch, I guess. Can we land on it? Do we have that good aim? Oh wow, nice banjo. Ah, there we go. So a jiggy appears in Grunty's eye, so I guess that's why we wanted to beak bomb the eye. A while ago. Man, are you serious? The camera's not gonna point right here along this beam, so we have to, you know, do it at some kind of, uh, you know, not straight on, at some kind of angle with the joystick, which is difficult, or can be. I don't know, you should take your time, it's no big deal. Let's get the honeycomb too. I don't know where the other honeycomb is. Oh, dude, go away, please. Thank you. I don't know where the other honeycomb is either, but must be somewhere. Okay, now the hard part is actually getting down from here, because, uh, I don't think there's a, uh, oh, jeez. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> well, we survived, at least, so that's good. Yeah, I just, I don't want to die, because I haven't gotten all into, oh, nice, huh, beehive. Maybe they put that there on purpose, so they know that you're going to fall down and maybe see the beehive. That's kind of nice of them. Thank you, designers. Oh, you have to watch out for the bees. The bees aren't a big deal, actually. They're pretty easy to avoid. Okay, now I'm pretty sure there are some notes in here. Yeah, up here that we need to get before we leave. I hate these, I hate these green ghost things, because as near as I can tell, there's no way to defeat them. So you just have to dodge them forever, which is annoying. And they, like, run after you and then go through stuff. So you can't, like, outsmart them and, you know, <laughs> trap them behind something or whatever. So I don't... It's just annoying, man. Okay, well, let's get the rest of these nodes. Man, we're only at uh, about 50. We'll have 49 by the time we leave. Oh, well, maybe we'll have 50. Or will it be 49? I don't know. I'd feel better if we had a nice whole number, like 50. I guess, well, 49's not prime, so that sort of makes sense. Because if you had, like, a prime number of notes, that would lead me to think that... Well, it wouldn't necessarily mean this, but it would lead me to think that we had missed a note or something, or, like, in a group of notes, we had missed one. Because usually notes come in packs. Like, even though those were singular, they came in a pack of four, because one was in on each little pew. So, if we had some, some uh prime number, like, I don't know, 51 or something. Is 51 prime? No, it's not. Bad example. Uh, 53. I'm pretty sure 53 is prime. That would be like... Well, I mean, that would make me think that, but I guess, because if we just got another group of four, then we'd have 53. Uh, what am I saying? I don't, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> the, the frequency at which I make sense is... So, I don't know. Alright, let's leave here. I think we've got everything, all the notes anyway.